uh, started recording. <laughs> Ain't that something? I'm so excited to give this word on this morning. Um, and then also you have to remember that when you have a purpose, you are going to be tried by the fire. And when I, when this word came to me last night, I thought about when myself and uh, success coach uh, Lakeisha was talking over the weekend and she was, you know, educating me because I, I just love for her to just, you know, get in that mode to where she's educating me and, you know, she just yeah. be, talking, be having these healthy conversations. And one of the things she was talking about was the value of gold and the value of the dollar. She was telling me mm -hmm. that gold doesn't you lose is, is value but the dollar loses is value so you can, you can take gold and you can take it anywhere and use it but you can't always take that dollar to uh to take it to the place where it needs to be well use mm -hmm. it for what it is that you're trying to actually use it for so last night the word that came to me was um in first peter one and seven when it says that uh we are tried by fire because we are pure gold. So when you're going through certain things and situations and you're being tried, it's because you are something that's value. You have something valuable down on the inside of you that nobody else can take away from you at all. You have something valuable that's down deep on the inside of you. So a lot of times when you uh, go through certain things, you have to learn how to just shift your mind and shift your life, um, shift, shift your thoughts to the place where you actually wanted to actually be. And also another thing that came to me um, last night as I was, you know, just sitting down, I was like, I know I want to talk about being unstoppable, but at the same time, what am I going to really tell the people about being unstoppable? And then when I went and I looked up the word unstoppable, it means impossible to stop or to prevent. So you have to remember that when you see everything on around you seems to be falling down or coming out of place, you have to remember that you have an unstoppable spirit on the inside of you. And the only way that that spirit will be, will be stopped is if you get in your actual way. So today, family, I'm letting you know today that you are absolutely valuable because you have precious rubies, precious treasures down in earthen vessels. You need to just dig down deep on the inside of you and begin to to stir up the gift that's on the inside of you because listen, baby, you can make it. You can make it. And I always use myself as an example. I always use myself as an example. And the reason why I use myself as an example because my examples of my life is what got me through the things that I, that I actually went through. The things that I went through is what helped build me up. I remember when I didn't have nowhere to go. I remember when me and my children was homeless. I remember when I was inside of an abusive relationship. I remember when I, I wasn't making no money in my business. I remember when I didn't have no place to go. I remember when I felt like giving up. I remember when I wanted to throw in that towel. But guess what? Something down on the inside of me kept stirring up, telling me, Nakisha, you have to push yourself forward. Can't no devil in yeah. hell stop you from getting to the yeah. place where God has directly for you. When you have purpose on the inside of you, baby, mm -hmm. you ain't got no choice but to make it on the other side. When you have purpose down on the inside of you, baby, you ain't got no choice but to get on the other side side of destiny and the very thing that came to my mind as I was thinking on this thing last night is that when you have success down on the inside of you and when success is your portion guess what fear and doubt is always going to try to come in to try to distract you from getting to the places where you desire to be you have to remember that you have to learn how to frame your world with your mouth you have the the power of life and death down on, on upon your tongue you have the gift of success you have the gift of power you have to get down listen in order for you to know who you are you have to first of all get serious with yourself if you can't get serious right. You can't get serious with nobody else. Okay, who cares if the dog is acting a fool? Who cares if your boss is acting a fool? Who cares if that man in the house is acting a fool? Guess what? The assignment was given <laughs> unto you. That's the, right. Given unto you. And mm -hmm. you have everything down on the inside of you. Listen. I know those sometimes that might be directly under me and I'm their success coach. And yes, I add pressure to them because I know that they have something precious down on the inside of them. You cannot be right. successful who stand on the inside of your carpet zone. You cannot be successful being inside the same place day after day, day after day, day after day, day after day. You have to remember that in order for you to get something different, baby, you have to begin to move 
move different. Your hunger has to become different. The things that you desire and want has to become different. You have to remember that the abundance of the heart, baby, the mouth speak. So what's coming out of your mouth? Whatever is in your heart is a reflection of who you are and it's going to show with the words that you speak. Mm -hmm. Nasty on the inside, nasty is going to come out. You have to remember exactly. that, that the word tells us that he works from the inside out. But the thing is, we have it all backwards, baby. We want to work on the glam on the outside. We want to throw on these lashes and throw on this hair and throw on this cute little makeup and throw on some jewelry to cover the things that's on the outside that nobody can see what's going on on the inside. Today, I stopped about to tell you, baby, that you have to dig deep and figure out what, what you're going to do and you're going to have to rise up and be counted. Can't nobody stop you but, but you. You are unstoppable. You are unstoppable. We have treasures in earthen vessels. But how do you expect okay. to take down on the inside of those treasures that's down on in earthen vessels if you don't take out the time to cultivate? That's right. How you expect to, to, to tap into the, the person that you was created to be and tap into your purpose if you're always, you know, always tucking tail and running? You can't tuck tail and run. You listen, when I when I when I just said that, I am reminded of uh what's the little guy name that was thrown in the belly of the whale? Come on, Miss Sonya. Help me out. What's his Which name? One? Uh, he was thrown in a, a Jonah. You know, you have to stop being a Jonah. You have to learn how to throw your Jonas overboard. Fear may be your Jonah. Hello, Miss Janet. How you doing? Thank you so much for tuning in, girl. I am so <laughs> happy to see you on today. How you doing, Mr. Thomas? Thank you so much. Hello, Naisha. Hello, Trailblazers. We are so happy to see you all, uh, right here with us with Let Wisdom Speak Wednesday with Dream Pushes here inside of Trailblazers. Listen, you have to know when you begin to shift yourself and you're looking to get to the place where you want to be, all those outside chatters does not matter. Jonah, you have to learn mm -hmm. how to throw your Jonah overboard. You may have a Jonah on the inside of your boat that's keeping you from getting to the other side. So therefore, throw Jonah overboard and save yourself. Throw your Jonah overboard and save yourself. Your Jonah may be fear. Your Jonah may be self-doubt. Your Jonah may be uh, 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 the, the, la the lack of courage. Your Jonah may be the, 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 the lack of uh, uh, going forward or getting to the places where you need to be. Your Jonah is maybe right here inside of your mind. And that's why we always tell you, learn how to shift your mind, shift your energy. I don't care about you right. not having the right people inside your environment. Baby, do you think I had the right people inside my environment? Do you think I had the person on the other side of me to tell me, girl, Nikisha, you can make it, you can keep on going? No, I didn't have those type of people in my life. You think I had someone that was handing me something? No, baby, I had to get this thing out the mud for myself. So when I tell you, when I tell you certain things, I'm telling it to you from experience, not because just to get you out of my way. I'm not telling you something to please and pleasurize your ear. You know, the word said, the word of God tells us that there's going to be a damn time when man wants to, they're going to have itching ears. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not the one to give you itching ears. I'm not the one that's going to uh, give you words of flattering words because me giving you flattering words is not going to help you. Me giving you flattering words is not going to get you to the place where you need to be. Me giving you flattering, flattering, flattering words is not going to help pull you outside of your comfort zone. So, Miss Sonya, I'm going to put you on the spot right here. I'm going to ask you a quick question. Did you like okay. a success coach always giving you direct orders and when you don't follow it just tell them what i said baby well i first of all i'm gonna i'm gonna open the conversation with i so love you I, I love your ambitions i love your drive and i am so glad that uh god brought us together that's the first thing you are very motivating uh you're very encouraging and i just love your drive about you now, piggybacking on fear, I do understand fear is just a feeling. Mm -hmm. It's just a feeling that we got to that we got to learn to get over as human beings. I have fear in me. I have fear in me, but I am learning as each day come and go to learn to get over certain fears in my life. And by me becoming affiliate with this amazing company, I don't learn a lot within a shorter period of time. So with that being said, we have to just learn to stay motivated. 
we have to learn to believe in ourselves and know who we are and looking to see where we looking to be within the next five years. Set yourself a goal and stick to the path and follow the goal. Yes, it's easier said than done, but you have to believe in yourself because no one is, no one is stopping you except you. So you have to just be strong and just know who you are as a person. And listen to the affirmations at night. Self-empowerment. I listen to them. It puts you to sleep, but it's a subconscious mind. It sinks into your mind. And if you listen to it every night, you'll be amazed how you, be going, how you start thinking about life and where you are and where are you looking to get to. Now, I know what my why is. My why is my family. I used to be a homeowner. I fell on hard times and I'm opening this door and I'm sharing it with you guys. I used to be a homeowner for 20 years. We fell on hard times. I ended up had to sell my home. I had to move forward. It tore me down inside. Yes, I cried like a baby, but guess what? Sonya had to hold her head up she had to dry them tears and she had to move forward. And I kept praying and I asking God and I was asking God, something gotta be for me. It gotta be a better way. It gotta be a better way. I always had the entrepreneur driving me. I get it from my father, but he's no longer here with us. I always want to be an entrepreneur. And when this business was introduced to me, at first I said, no, I'm not interested, but believe it or not, that little intuition voice kicked in and I say, you know what, I'm gonna give it a try. That little intuition voice said, Sonya, try it, try it, this is it, Sonya, try it. So I said, okay, I don't have a problem trying. One thing about me, it's either gonna work or it's not, but I gotta put the work in. So that's what I'm sharing with you guys this Wednesday morning. Have to just stay motivated and believe in yourself and know who you are and know where are you looking to go. What what is your right. goal? Where you want to be at within the next five years? So we have to work. We have to work and we have to work. We got to put the work in it. You have you you get out what you put in. You get out what you put yeah, in. You gotta, right. you gotta put the work in to see the harvest. That's that's a no-brainer. You I'm sorry, say it again. You have to do what, Miss Sonya? You have to put in You work. have to put the work in to see the harvest. You got to work. That's a no-brainer. Now, it was something that you shared with me um, the other day when we was talking, and I had to listen. <laughs> listen, 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 Linda. Let me tell you something. I absolutely love listening to um, my partners, my team, you know, because, you know, we become a family when we begin to um, empower each right. other. And one day she was talking to me and she was letting me know, she said, um, she said, a lot of times people want the money, but don't want to put in the work. And I can absolutely agree with that because a lot of times people want to, people want success, but don't want to go through the process and take the steps to be successful. Right. People want to. Want, want want to be blessed in certain areas, but don't want to take out the time to go through the, the process of, of getting those things that you want. If for number one, if you know that you are a person that's looking to purchase a home, then therefore you need to take those necessary steps yep. in your in order for you to get to the place where you need to be in order to purchase up purchase your home. Okay, so you know it's gonna be like uh, uh, for some people it's gonna be it can be a year or longer for some people. You know, you know you have to have your finances what it needs to be. So stop going out buying stuff that you don't really need. Take that money and put it into a savings account. That money that you're using to buy those unnecessary things can be the thing, uh, can be the very money that you use um, in order for you to be able to put a down payment on, on that home or even, you know, buy you some new furniture or whatever the case may be. If you know that you're trying to buy a home, clean up your credit. It's a process. Exactly. Right? is a process. And if you want to be successful there, listen, I was listening to, um, what's his name john c maxwell the other day and he was saying that you know there is no such thing of overnight success no, people, only want, 
notice you, uh, people call some people overnight success because now they're in the light of being an influence to other people. But in reality, they took the steps behind the scene and they also, you know, endured their failures in order for them to get where they, where they are today. There is no overnight success. You have to work for the things that you want. You have to remember that. And again, I go back to the word. The word tells us that if a man don't eat, if a man don't work, he don't eat. Absolutely. It also Absolutely. tells us that a slack hand caused poverty. There is too much treasures in this, in this, in this earth, everyone. Mm -hmm. um, you know, for us to just be sitting here saying that we're broke. You're broke because you're not taking the necessary steps in order for you to transform and become the person that you desire and want to be. You have to learn. Allow me to, allow me to say something. Let me, let me piggyback on, on that uh, quickly. We, we, we actually need to look at it as the mind. Okay, I would say this. The mind achieves what the body believes. So basically with that being said, sharp mind, sharp body, it goes hand in hand. And, and you have to understand that. Uh, what you feed your mind, that's what your mind is gonna eat. So you have to try to feed your mind positive thoughts. It's a no brainer. If you sit there and you constantly feel sorry for yourself and you constantly saying, I can't, I can't, I can't, guess what? Your mind is gonna eat, I can't, I can't, I can't. You become what you surround yourself with. If you constantly surrounding yourself with negative people that mm -hmm. don't wanna do nothing and is constantly telling you, you can't do it, guess what? You're gonna go to feeling like that and that's what you're gonna become. So be leery about who you keep company. Be leery about what your thoughts are. You, you have to understand that. And yes, I could easily say it, but I'm working on that myself. I'm working on that myself. So you have to be very leery about who you keep company and be very leery about who you share your vision with because everybody is not for you. That's, that's, that's it, Miss Sonya. And um, like you said, you know, you have to remember that, you know, a lot of times um, people want to be in the in crowd. And again, I have to revert back to the word because that's all I know. The, the word of the word of God tells us that um, that a bad company spoils good morals. So if you know exactly. that, that you're that you're a person that's not uh, that does not operate in that particular manner, why would you dummy down yourself for somebody else? Why would you put yourself in a position to put your character and integrity in, in a certain position? Now, um, it's something I want to say. I got to remember what it was because you just brought it out. Um, that's what it was. When I was going through my time of trouble, um, you know, uh, and I made a post last night that, Stop listening to strange voices. Absolutely. You have to learn how to stop listening to strange voices. That's what it was. It came from uh, Psalms 1, uh, 1 through 7. But stop listening to strange voices because my goals may not be your goals and my morals may not be your morals. Mm -hmm. You have to remember that when I was going um, when I was going through my situation, I had all these different people that tried to get me to try to beat the system. Why would I try to go and beat the system to try to get certain things that y'all want me to go and get and lie and tell these people stuff and then I end up in a deeper hole? Listen exactly. to the Holy Spirit from within and stop listening to those voices that don't mean you no good. I have and those voices are just negative thoughts. Right. That's, just, thoughts. that's the negative thoughts and that's the devil that's trying to intervene. Those are negative thoughts. So please don't listen to the negative thoughts. Stay positive. Get Read the Bible. Go and, go and talk with someone. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. Go and talk with someone. Sit down and explain to them how you feeling and how can you overcome these feelings that you're having. Or you could go to your local Barnes and Noble book store and you could buy a book. Remember, leaders are readers. If you want to be a leader, you have to be a reader. You have to be a reader. Now I'm getting wired up now. You know, I'm, I'm getting hot now. 
I'm from it's hot. It's hot up, baby. We dream pushes, honey. We dream pushes. I'm, I'm, I'm dreams. hot. Listen, our it, goals it, it, and our dreams and goals should become our reality. Go ahead. I want you to get fired up. Listen, it don't make no sense for your success coach to be on cloud 1000 and you down here on number two. Baby, shift your shit. Go ahead and shift it up a notch, Miss Sonya. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting fired up because, see, once I go to talking, I can't stop. I can't stop. And it's true. You got to understand who you are as a person. Understand who you are as a person. And if you're having problems in that area, work on that problem. You're going to be fine. You got to just trust the process, believe in who you are as a person, and move forward. You got this. It's nothing to be scared about. Fear is just a feeling. It's just a feeling. We all, we all have that fear in us at times. It depends on what we're going through in life. That's absolutely I still, right. I, I still have a little fear in what I'm into now with MDC, but I'm getting more and more comfortable with, with it. From Miss Lakeisha and from Miss Nakisha training and coaching me, I am really getting comfortable with it. So ladies, we got to believe in ourselves. We got to believe in who we are. We set our goals and we keep our eyes, keep our, our eyes on the prize and move forward and set yourself a goal. If you know you're trying to be somewhere within the next two to three years, set yourself up for it. Like, uh, like Nakisha say, if you're looking to become a homeowner, work on your credit. I can help you with your credit. I can help you do that. That's not a problem. Work on your credit, start saving money, and before you know it, guess what? You're gonna be sitting at the closing table signing off, signing them documents, closing on your home, picking up them keys. Exactly. So we got this. Exactly. And, 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 you know, listen, I, 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 listen, the type of believer I am and people always think I'm crazy because I have crazy faith. When I say I believe in what my God tell me, honey, I believe yeah. what I, my God tell me, you know, because I don't walk into educational institutions and told them, baby, I ain't giving you a dime. You, you want to put me through school. So you go and you find out what you want to do. They thought it was crazy. Oh, Miss Gordon, we understand about this faith thing. I tell you what, if you can't give me a grant to come to your school for absolutely free, guess what's going to happen? I'm going to walk out the door. And at this time, I was at this time I was homeless. I was homeless, baby. You know what oh, I'm saying? Wow. Okay. I didn't change what I was going through. I knew my. I, listen, I knew that I had to engage into a vision that was a whole lot bigger than myself. I walked inside that college and I let them know I'm not giving you a dime of my money, what's going to happen is your school is going to pay me to sit down inside your seat. That's, that's what's going to happen. I'm not giving you nothing at all. So the guy thought he was going to, you know, shake me a little bit. Okay, I tell you what, Mr. Such and Such, when you get yourself together and you go and you find some money for me to come to your school, then we'll talk. At the time, I didn't have a car. I was living in Houston, Texas. I walked my happy heels back to that bus stop and less than two minutes, who's chasing me down the sidewalk, baby? the administrator. So when God put a word down on the inside of you, baby, you got to listen. You you, you, you can't shake at the, the, the sound of somebody else's voice. What voice just told you to go do what you was told to do? If he gave yeah. you the vision, he would make provision. That's right. My pastor always say, if it's in his will, it's his bill. So That's I right. went to that school for two whole years and I didn't have to pay a dime of my own money. Got my associate's degree inside the, the, uh, the IT field, a, a network system administrator. I didn't pay the people a dime because I know what God spoke inside my heart, inside my spirit. Baby, I could continue to go on and on and on and on about those voices. What voice are you listening to? Are you listening to the voice of the Holy Spirit, uh, spirit from within? Or you want to listen to the, the voice of those around you. You have to remember that when Jesus bid Peter to come from a, uh, from off that boat, he told him to just to come. Just come. Don't ask no questions. Just come. But guess what? Uh, what, what happened? He started to get frantic and got fear because things on the other side of him started making him shake. And that's why I say, baby, we can't shake, but we have to shift into that other vibrate up to that direction that we want to be in. Now, listen, and Miss Jan Miss Janet, I see that you put inside the comments to claim it. 
Yeah. Well, a lot of people is claiming blabbing and grabbing, but they ain't putting no words behind what they're claiming. You can blab it all day long, but faith without works is dead. If you don't want to put in the words behind the things that you're claiming, baby, nothing from nothing leaves absolutely nothing. Zero plus zero is what? Zero. Zero times zero is what? Zero. You have to learn how to go ahead and go through that valley that you may be uh, going through at this particular moment. Listen, I remember, mm -hmm. listen, I got so many stories I can tell y'all. See, before I started going through my transition, God ar already had forewarned me. I got mm -hmm. the other story I'll tell y'all about that in a little time. That's not for this, this particular broadcast. But during that transition that I was going through uh, with my kid's dad and I decided I wanted to, uh, you know, God called me um, to be saved. You know, I went to this particular church and I've never heard about prophets and none of these other people. But the prophet came to me and the prophetess came to me and she was like, God is going to bring you through a valley experience. Yes, it's going to get hard, but he said to keep on going because I see you as a wealthy woman. My Beautiful. Daughter is, my daughter is 16. So that was over 17 years ago. Imagine, listen, let me, hold on, let me back up some. Even though he spoke that word, you listen, it, it gave me life on the inside. So I always held on to that word that was uh, that was spoken to me, that he's gonna take me through my valley experience. What happened two years later? I started to hit rock bottom. Um, the, uh, the, the um, recession thing began to, uh, you know, had hit us here in the United States. I don't know if it hit anywhere else. I can only speak about where I was at that particular time that it hit right here. And when it hit, it hit me hard. So mm -hmm. even though I went through those experiences, you have to learn how to hold on to your faith. Hold on to the promises that was given unto you. Don't let nobody else, you, I hear you, Holy Ghost, you have to learn how to divide and conquer. That's divide right. Divide and conquer. You have, listen, everybody want to hear the good things, but nobody don't want to know about the experience that you, that you have to go through behind the scene. Everybody want to want to hear the story and, and see your glory. Everybody, I'm sorry, everybody see your glory, but don't know your story. That's right. Nobody don't that understand so right. how, no, nobody understand how you may have been a person that had to sleep on benches. Nobody knows uh, uh, the story of how you had to sit at the McDonald's all day long, uh, not knowing where you and your kids going to be. Nobody knows the stories of, of having to live, in, live inside of an apartment with absolutely no furniture and lights getting turned off. Nobody knows the story of you having to go and do certain things in order to, to survive for your household. Nobody knows yeah. the story of the pain in the tears that you may have cried. Nobody know your story. Nobody. Nobody knows Absolutely. your story. So nobody knows your story. Listen, listen, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna say this here, and success coach Nakisha, forgive me, but I have to say how I feel. To hell with those that's not following you. To hell with those who don't believe in you. To hell with those that's not patting you on your back. That's right. Who do you believe? Who report are you going to believe? Are you going mm -hmm. to believe the report of those that came to try to sift you as we, you know, the, oh my God, Simon Peter, Simon Peter, Satan desire to sift, to sift you as we. Miss Janet, Satan desire to sift you as we. Miss Sonia, Satan desire mm -hmm. to sift you as we. That's right. The devil decide, the, listen, desires to sift you as we. But what you going to do? Are you going to be, I'm sorry, Coach Lakeisha, but I got to say it this way, baby. Are you going to be a punk and lay there and die? Or are you going to rise up like a king's kid and get to the other side? We are rising up, honey. Rise up, baby. Rise up. Listen, Miss Sonya, if you have something to say, you can go ahead and say it. But I'm going to have to cut this thing here short because we've been live for uh, 35 minutes, 35 minutes. Okay, so allow me to say this quickly. No other option available. Rise up, work, put your time in, watch your harvest grow. Believe in yourself. Absolutely, believe in yourself. And as I always love to do, um, whenever I do speak to anyone, I like to uh, affirm our day. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make our uh, um, affirmations on today that I will listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit from within. I will lead and not follow. That's right. I will create and not destroy. I am right. a force for good. 
I defy yeah. the odds against me. Not Miss Sonya, not uh, yeah. uh, Coach Lakeisha, not success coach uh, the Kirks, not my coworker, not my brother, not my sister, but I defy the odds against me. I set new standards. I'm I am the head and not the tail. I am, the, I am above and not beneath. I am the lender and not the barrier. I am loved by God. I am chosen by God. I am protected by God. And no weapon formed against Nakisha Lachelle Gordon shall be able to prosper. And every tongue that rises up against me in judgment, I shall condemn. It's my season. It's my turn. It's my season. It's my turn. I'm happy. I'm humble. I'm wealthy. I'm strong. And my name is Nikisha L. Gordon, and I will never be broke another day in my life. Why? Because abundance is my birthright.